What's up guys and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. I just quickly start off with why I've started the channel. It's basically just to be able to share with you guys my passion and interest for technology, gaming and just about anything gadgety I get my hands on. Um, now I'm predominantly a console gamer, um, however I've been thinking long and hard and I've decided to venture off into PC gaming as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with uh, a few series of unboxings. Uh, obviously today I'm starting off with the uh, Aero Cold case which we'll get to in just a moment. Um, but I'm going to start with the unboxings of everything I've chose to go into my PC um, and then afterwards I'll start also a series of um, builds um, and everything going into the PC all the way up to the final boot um, and obviously benchmarks. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just start off with this one here. Now, this is the Aero Cool um, X Predator Avenger Edition. Um, now I got this for a pretty decent price on Amazon, um, I was quite happy with it. Um, I do intend on water cooling uh, the PC so I did want a fair bit of size so I wasn't restricted um, as to how large and how big I eventually wanted to go. I'm going to keep it quite moderate at first um, but I'm, I am the type to keep upgrading until my bank balance breaks so we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah if you just hang tight and we'll get this unboxed. Okay guys, as you can see we had to move rooms as my desk just wasn't quite big enough to compensate for a decent video um, of unboxing this big boy. Uh, as you can see it's quite a size, um, so this is what they've called their, their super tower, um, so it is uh, it's quite big. Um, but uh, yeah, without nothing to spare, let's get it open. Uh, so we've got the trusty knife. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be going out of camera quite a few times on this, um, as it is quite big. So I'll do a follow guys for that one. It's a glued box as well. Wow. Okay, uh, so first impressions of the box. I'll try to sit this on a few guys to see. This is what you can expect to see when you first open the box. Um, now like I said, this is the Avenger edition. Um, so what they've gone for is a sort of an Iron Man theme, um, which I really love. I'm a big fan of Marvel, so this is right up my street. <laughs> May not be to all of your taste, and I'm fully aware of that, but for me, this was the boy. So what I'm gonna have to actually do is, uh, I'm gonna have to turn the camera off a second, I'm gonna get this out of the box, uh, and then we'll come back once I've got it out of the box. <laughs> Okay guys, so here she is, fully unboxed. The first thing you'll notice on the front is obviously your integrated I.O. Now, here you've got um, one microphone cable, uh, sorry, one microphone port, um, one headphone port, uh, you've got two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, um, one SATA port, and then you've got the two um, integrated fan controls um, that already come supplied with the case. Just show the feature on top. I quite like this um, when I when I kind of buy in the case. Um, now on top, you can actually control how much exhaust um, you want to come from the case. Um, literally, just by touching and moving this lever just here. You start the It's a bit stiff, um, but I can't imagine you'd use it too often. Um, but yeah, just a, just a nice little add-on um, at the bottom there, which I thought was quite cool. Um, and I'm moving around the case. As you can see you've got loads of expansion slots, um, so you can pretty much just keep adding to this case all day long. Uh, now they do advertise the case as being suited all the way up to ATX size motherboard, um, so I'm sure that you could uh, build quite heavily on that. Um, it comes with four pre-drilled pre holes for water cooling, um, if you're going to be running any of the pipes, reservoir, um, outside of the case. Um, that's quite handy to have, um, so if you have the drill. Um, now what we'll do is we'll go inside the case. Now while we're looking at the back, I'll just show you, you've got these uh, screw holes just here with these um, sort of hand, I don't know how to describe them really, but they're just like a hand nut, um, which you, uh, hand bolt, sorry, which you just undo. Um, and that will release the, uh, the side panels of the case. So we'll do that now. So uh, once those removed, let me just pull that forward, hold the case so it doesn't slip out. Um, and that comes. Now I do apologise for any bad lighting guys. Um, downstairs is not the best place for it, but it doesn't have room. 
Um, so, as you can see, when you first get inside the case, you're greeted with a big clump of wires. Um, this is for the integrated I.O., obviously on the front of the case, um, going to your fans, hard drive, etc. Um, for the ESAT that it comes with, um, the ESAT port, sorry, um, that it comes with on top. Um, so yeah, that's uh, obviously quite, quite messy, that will need tidying up. Right at the top of the case, um, you've got a 23 centimetre fan, um, and you've also got another fan in the front of the case, um, which is a white LED fan. Um, I don't know if I'll keep that one or whether I'll switch it out for something different, um, or depending obviously where I mount the water cooling, um, will determine which which fan we'll need to go. Um, it more than likely be the uh, the top one, as I, I, I'm going to try and mount the radio on the top. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, but that's also a 23 uh, centimetre fan as well, so that's quite nice. Um, now, as a remote, to one of the hard drive bays. We've got this in the box. Right, so this is all your fixings um, for the motherboard, um, HDD screws, everything you'll need to mount any external devices um, into the case. Now, you've got six drive bays uh, and six uh, hard drive bays. Um, you probably will not use all this, um, as, I, you are, as I said before, you know, you are, you are quite spoiled for choice with this case, uh, you know, it's quite generous in size. Um, this is what they call their, it's a full tower, um, but they call it their super tower, um, because they actually do another version of this, which is the um, X3, this is the X1, um, but they do the X3, which is slightly smaller. It's still a full tower, um, but it's, uh, it's just slightly smaller. Um, and the window's a little bit different on the front. Um, it's still a nice case, uh, and I was torn between the two, but like I said, I knew I was water calling it, so I just wanted the biggest one I could grab, just for size, really. Um, to make sure it wasn't really stuck for size. Um, so yeah, as you can see, um, you've got um, space behind to be able to do your cable management. You can remove that panel, which we'll do in just a moment. Um, and you've got, obviously, these nice sort of uh, Rubber silicone ports, which you can just pop your wires in, keeps it all nice and tidy. Um, so that's quite handy. Um, what we'll do is we'll take off the, uh, the back of it now. Now, obviously, a lot of the features on this case you, you get with just about most cases in this sort of price range. Um, but for me, this the Aero Call, it doesn't, you know, it wasn't too over the top, and I don't want that some stupid, obviously, being an Iron Man themed, uh, but it, it, it was. Still quite, uh, you know, moderate um, without being too over the top. Um, but the the features, like I said, you know, you do get these on most most cases around this sort of price mark. Um, but uh, I, I really felt like, you know, in the reviews I've read on this case uh, and in the pictures in the description of, on their specifications on their website, um, this definitely seemed like the best case for me and what I wanted to do with it. Um, so, you know, personal preference, this is why I chose this case. Uh, obviously, I, I, so far, you know, the durability of it, it feels very, very strong, very sturdy. It is quite heavy, it's made of steel. Um, but I'll, so far, you know, I could definitely recommend this to anybody. Who's um, now, this is where your cable management's going to go. Um, you've probably got a good three, maybe 3.5 centimetres um, of width in there to put your cables in. It's a little bit tight, um, but I think with the right time, you, you, you'd be able to get all your wires in there with no problem. Um, like I said, it's, it's so related that you, you shouldn't have any problems at all getting your wires behind there. Um, so yeah, quite happy with that, that's, uh, that's quite nice. And yeah, quite happy with this case. Let's give me another view from the front. You see, it's nice gold. Um, it's actually done really well. This is one of the sort of features I was quite concerned about was the colour scheme. Obviously, they always make things look good on the internet, um, and I was quite worried that when I get it, it was going to be a lot blander. Um, I didn't think it'd actually be this strong in colour. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to come out of the camera. Hopefully, it comes up true to form. Um, but yeah, as, as it goes to the colour, I'm quite impressed with it. it. You know, to the eye, it really does look like uh, the Iron Man colours. Uh, you know, it's not it's not bleached gold at all. It's it's, it's, it's very very uh, it's very strong potent colour. Very nice. Um, but yeah, so that's the, uh, the unboxing of this one. Okay guys, so that was my unboxing of the AeroCool X Predator Avenger Edition. Um, I'm sorry if the video seemed like it was all over the place. Please bear in mind, this is my first one. Uh, so I've got a few learning curves to make before I really get this styled as it's not as easy as it seems. Um, but yeah, so I do apologise for that. However, if you did enjoy the unboxing, please hit the subscribe and like button. It is a brand new channel, so that will help me a lot and I really appreciate it. And like I said, there are going to be other series of unboxings 
um, leading through my build um, and then after all the unboxings are done I've got all the components um, I'll then shift on to a series of actually building the PC and like I said we'll do it all the way up to boot um, we'll do some benchmarks and yeah and then just see where it goes from there but um, yeah so thanks for watching guys really do appreciate it and like I said hit that like and subscribe thank you very much see you again Wow.